The biggest challenge for oil and gas industry is to pay attention to the environment. Sensor technologies are going to be a very critical piece for the sustainability programs for industry because it's the digital age. Information drive decisions that drive actions. Focusing on methane is one of the most cost-effective and near-term ways to combat climate change. When it's captured and used productively, it's a valuable resource. But when methane is wasted into the atmosphere from leaks or from venting, it's an extremely potent greenhouse gas. How an oil and gas company manages and reports on its methane emissions is critical. The way it's done now is mostly manually. Someone takes a camera on their hand and goes uh, around the site looking for leaks. There are millions of miles of distribution and transmission pipelines, so checking for leaks manually is going to be very time consuming and expensive. And that's where the mobile approaches come into play. We have the opportunity to change the game by identifying and unleashing truly disruptive technology. Drones, truck mounted solutions, behind these are very sophisticated algorithms and analytical systems that are taking the data that's fed into the hardware and turned into insights and eventually action that these companies can take. It's exciting to be on the front edge of it and really to see this from the start. All those technology's been out for a while, putting it on drones and deploying it on larger scale is, is really kind of the next wave of it. Commercially, it's a very competitive space. There's, there are a lot of dollars available. I think everyone is excited to get the, the chance to access that. To see all these technologies push the envelope and how we can go from, wow, that's really cool, to something we can actually integrate into our operations. There is a market for these solutions. There's so much room for innovative, tech-driven improvement in how we manage emissions in the oil field and how we do it better, faster, and more cost-effectively.